yo youtube so in this episode um episode four basically uh david get his gun license so it's pretty much that self-explanatory some funny moments that happen um so actually this is the course so it might actually help other people get their gun license that's in the grizzly world as well and if you're thinking about getting in grizzly world well here go the test if you think about getting in the whitelist so yeah if you like the video make sure you hit like on the video for me uh help the channel out a lot hit sub on the channel you know what i'm saying and definitely go to the description bro and click on the link to go to the twitch channel follow the twitch my guy blessings family thank you so much for the support Thank y'all. Thank you, man. What's up, future fucking mayor? Hey, doing, what's up, my brother? How you doing? Lab, I never yeah, recognize you no more, man. All right, I think David is the last one we were waiting on. <laughs> that dude is hilarious. Hey, David, you can go ahead and make the payment before we start. Okay. Give it to who? Up, you, give it to you? Yeah, you can just drive it. Okay, cool. There you go, boss man. So what all the red boss? Oh god. Uh, I was matching the red eye, you know, red eye. Okay, I see you, I see you. Flex different. I ain't got that flex. Well, you know how I do. <laughs> Who the hell is this crying in the damn lobby? No. It's a little three-year-old. I mean, I think there's everybody that we waiting on today. So I'd like to welcome everybody to the first Grizzly World gun registration class. So. So we're gonna start right here and do it on the left. I wanna ask you a question. I'm gonna ask everybody a certain question throughout the class. Down in red, what is your purpose of wanting the gun license? So um, I'm actually a business owner on multiple businesses. Um, and I actually drive nice cars. I have a nice house. So uh, as a person that's uh, out here getting legitimate money, I wouldn't, wouldn't mind, I wouldn't mind having a legitimate way to protect myself because at the end of the day, let's be real, the criminals, they're not going to follow the, the rules anyway. So they, you know, they don't really need it. So I think the license is designed for someone such as myself that actually needs to protect themselves. All right. All right. That's what I'm Did I hear that correctly? You're running for mayor? Yes, sir. That is absolutely correct. Okay. Oh, it's locked. Okay. 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 I congratulate you on that. Uh... What's going on with y'all, man? I don't see oh, a. Uh, is he out there? Ah <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> Here go that nigga do. Right. All right. Um, <laughs> who's that back there in the red hair? What's your name? You said what happened, boss? Yeah, back there in the red. Red hair. Dream. Dream. Mm -hmm. Okay, dream. Question I have for you today is. Is Los Santos, what, what type of state is Los Santos when it comes to carrying a firearm? What the fuck? Brother, I ain't gonna lie. Man, I can't imagine. Um, right. All right. Here we go. Hey, she needs some help. The dolo. <laughs> Yeah, you know, when you carry a firearm, you know, you know, hold it in your hand, carry it all out. You find out y'all the three stooges you back there, boss. You know, how, how do you do that? You gotta, it's concealed. Think, think about shot for me. Oh, I can't. It's it's a concealed weapon. You know, concealed you gotta weapon keep, state. Yes. That's absolutely correct. Do you want to? Does everyone know why Los Santos is considered a concealed carry state? It's the wild, no, wild west. That's why we're here. We're best. here to learn why. Okay, so brandishing a weapon is considered a felony, which is why you never walk around with your weapon. Now, anytime you are, you know, caught with your weapon out or whatever, you will. Have to face repercussions for it. 
Los Santos is a concealed carry state. Me working at the gun store, you know, I'm allowed to wear the, you know, see how I have my gun holsters on my shoulders. I'm allowed to do that because I work there. But Los Santos is considered a concealed carry state. You never want to brandish your weapon. You never want to catch a felony for doing something so mediocre. It's just something you don't do. Question. Yep. What's up? So if you brandish your firearm but have a guns license, you would get receive a ticket, or will you receive what what what, what kind? Brandish of He said he said a felony, felony, bro. He said a felony, felony, bro. Yeah. So you can't be walking. So you automatically get a okay, felony, so look, bro. Yeah. This this yeah, one I'm gonna ask you. My boy. That's a good question, but this one I want to ask you. When is the only reason or the only possible way that you're allowed to pull out your weapon? Hold on, hold on. Why I feel like my life is threatened, being now? threatened, or if I feel like if someone's trying situation. to rob me, I feel like those are... So how, how, are the, how are they threatening your life? Are they, Yo, you, you know, gotta, saying these things? Are they showing out. you anything? Like, what's, what's going on? If I'm physically MFD. being attacked... They got a gun pointed at you? I feel like gun the pointed life at me, or they're physically situation. putting their hands on me? Exactly. If your life is in danger as far as losing your life, it's, it's threatened to the point where someone has a weapon, you, you see their weapon... What if they're beating me to a bloody pole? If they're beating you, have a right to the, you know, you have a right to protect yourself. Yeah. Okay. So as long as I'm being physically attacked. Yes, you have a okay. you have a right to protect yourself. Hey, are all these guys good? With warning, I mean, like let them know, like, hey, stop and or what what not, and they do not, they don't okay, so, abide or right. listen. So I, then I have to. Okay. Another another good point that I want to bring up as far as owning a weapon. Right. So we have we have we, we we have certain locations inside of this state that you're not allowed to carry a firearm in. Does anyone know what those types of locations are? Hospital, the police station, police station, town hall, uh, town hall, hospital, police station. You know what? Uh, uh, what locations that you think of? You said whorehouse. Court, court, court house. House. Oh. Any business establishment? Where is that at? I've been looking for that. Well, except as far as business establishment, store, except for the ammunition store, I would some believe, business so. establishments allow you to conceal carry. Not all. It depends on the owner of that location. Okay. No, I believe there's there are a couple you guys are missing. What about schools? No, no, no. What about no, absolutely not. What about, state, what about state parks? No what about the bank? Okay. No oh, okay, okay. City Hall. Mm -hmm. That's the courthouse. Yeah, I guess yeah, it's, 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 it's a town hall. Yeah, they, it's a lot of, a lot of places medical. you're not allowed to carry weapons. The, so the, banks, make, have, the banks have metal detectors, so it'd be kind of... Make sure you guys are aware of those locations that you're not allowed to carry a firearm in. Because, again, that is considered a felony. You will lose your license if caught inside one of these locations with a firearm. And I don't want Understand. you all to have to take this class for no reason, paying the 50K that you paid just to lose it. Understandable. So let me bring up a scenario for you guys. So let's say you went to the store, buy some clothes. You went a little shopping, leave your vehicle outside, but you left it unlocked. You come outside and you see someone jumping inside of your vehicle. You have your CPL and you have your weapon on you. What do you do? Nothing. You make shoot sure you uh, call 911. Shoot the tire, boss. Shoot the tire. Everybody that check. just said. I mean, everybody you that just that, said. You should have double checked that your car was locked. Everybody that just said anything that if anybody that just said anything involving you were shooting your gun, you will lose your license and you will go to jail. Definitely don't shoot the tires out. Like, come on, you got to be reasonable. Cars are replaceable. A life isn't. Just because someone steals your vehicle doesn't give you right to shoot them. He should have thought about his life before oh, reaching like into the wrong vehicle, boss. Yeah, you're going to get put out. <laughs> I'm joking, boss. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, just because someone steals your vehicle or steals something of yours does not get... If they don't pose an immediate threat to you, you are not to use your firearm. There's no reason for you to. That's why we have things called car insurance, things like that. You can replace your vehicle easily. Now, they'll, be they caught, they'll be caught eventually. Sir? Go ahead. What was that? What if he get you know, yeah, there's, a, yeah, there's a possibility yeah. he gets in your vehicle and your vehicle and he shoots you like in the vehicle. 
If well, your life that, is not in danger, while, while you're while you're trying to approach, like, okay, hey, so hey, that, that's, that's that means a, your that's life is in danger. You got to evaluate the situation. If your life not in danger, you should not be drawing your firearm on that person. So, huh. if he's is if he's hopping in your car, causing you bodily harm, right, and is about to attack you or anything like that, then you can, you can go ahead and pull out your firearm. You know, doing needs to be done with it. Anything other than that. Him just hopping in your car, pulling off. That's what, I'm saying. what if he brandishes his firearm? If he pulls out his firearm, so that would mean that would mean my life is at danger, correct? Yes, indeed. You can you can then for pull out your firearm. Correct. Okay, understood. Thank you for the clarification. Yes, yeah, because because your life is endangered. Okay, so I'm pretty sure after this class and once everyone gets their license, I'm pretty sure you all will go purchase your first firearm. Tomorrow, where should correct, you always? Where would you all purchase your firearm from? Where is your store? Ammunition. Ammunition. Anywhere else? I don't no. Believe no. So. That is correct. You only purchase any firearms from a registered firearm dealer, which is Ammunition. Which myself is one of the owners. You can speak to McGillicuddy as well. He's one of the co-owners, as well as um, DeAndre. What's that name again? Mr. McGillicuddy. McGillicuddy? Yes, ma'am. I know it's kind of weird. But yeah, Mr. Got it. So once you all purchase your first firearm, let's say you take it to the gun range, you let off about 200 rounds. At that moment, your weapon probably needs to be clean, correct? Yes. What is the first thing you must do before cleaning your weapon? Unload it. Unload it. That is correct. Put it on safety first and then unload it. That is correct. We got a, we got a little bright class here. All guns coming from All ammunition, guns ammunition have safety. With safety. Smart ass. <laughs> that, was, that was the question I was going to have. What kind of guns will be sold in ammunition? At the moment, we, we know the list. It's just we're not releasing the information as of now. As well as the pe the amount for each gun, you all will know that once we actually receive a stock in. Does the future mayor get a discount? Test. Future mayor, the mayor will get a discount. Okay. So will that not be on the test of what guns you can purchase with ammunition? Yes, sir. So once you get access to that test, you'll be able to see maybe what types of guns you can purchase, what type of guns you can't purchase. Right okay, now. so oh, okay. Okay, so when will we be able to purchase the guns? Your daddy got you all your paperwork together. I have another question for you. Let's um. Where you at? Where you went? Hey, got Mr. You. Brown. Yes, yeah, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, well, right. So. Where you want me to go? Yeah. You have a gun holster on your hip, correct? And you have you your weapon inside of that holster. You don't miss it much. Is yes, that sir. allowed inside of the city? Bro, I'm not. No, it's called open carry. Yeah. That is correct. That is still considered brandishing a firearm. This is not yes, an open sir. carry state. It's only concealed. Yes, sir. Huh, let's see. Let's see. Ooh. I got a question on that, boss. Yes, go ahead. What if I have a coat over it? That's called conce concealed. Carry, that's called sir. concealed. If you have like a trench coat on and you have, you have your coat over your firearm, that is still considered concealed carry. So that is One thing I do want to inform you guys of. Um, if you are walking around with your firearm in your, um, you know, like, say, for instance, you walking around with your firearm like this. You walking around with your firearm like this and things like that, and then you instantly, you know, you just draw your firearm and then start shooting at someone? That's, that, hold on. We're going to send your ass to school. Yeah, that, that's a state law violation. Yeah, that's a state law law violation. So you shouldn't okay, be. Can you explain why it will be? Because that's that's typically uh, something we consider uh, above us. A bit. Um, so you're avoiding. You you're avoiding basically. Yeah, you're avoiding. Yeah, you're yeah but it's not in your pocket. What, it's in your pocket. What if it's in your pocket? Like, what if you got a sweater on? It's in your pocket. That's what I'm saying. It's still and I avoiding. And left my holster at home. You know? It's still avoiding this though. Basically. I mean, but that's not my problem if I feel like if I'm in a hostile environment, you know, I feel like that's like the only way I could pull it out faster, you know, and I got it in mm -hmm. my pockets. And, and that's legit. where and that's where it comes into be, you know, you're avoiding this. 
the whole time. So that's where it become a problem. Yeah, but what if I already went around the corner and did that and just threw it in my pocket? Mm-hmm. And if somebody pull up on you shooting, that's still avoiding the, um, pulling it out your pocket. So you want, you, me to what make, you want me to move? You want me to move slower than no the average yeah. person? I mean, the average person. So basically, you should be pulling out your pocket. That's what it's there for. So put your hands in your pocket. You said take uh, cover, but what if the guy is right there in front of me and it's too late for me to take cover? You know, and I already already have my hand in my pocket. If you let y'all know now, that's just a state law violation. It's just just it's just us, you know, trying to get to the bottom of it in y'all pocket. Yeah, that's understandable. That's that's why we're here to ask questions. Never ask these questions. Right, because. That's why y'all the three stooges now, boss. <laughs> <laughs> so let's just say Mr. Brown over here is addicted to heroin, right? I hope he not. Hey, nah, hey, nah, but it's Jesus. Just a hypothetical Damn. question. Mr. Brown is Lord, addicted pray to heroin. Lord, pray for him. Why I gotta be me? Hey, I ain't gonna lie. I was gonna ask you what the means you wearing. License? It would be taken away. Exactly. Do you know why? He going to jail. Because he's, he's a, a crackhead. Anyone addicted to any type of drug is no longer eligible to hold a firearms license because they're not competent to hold one. So what if they go to rehab, boss? Can they get it back? That'll be up to uh, Pillbox. What about if Pillbox uh, deems them over the counter? Over the counter? I don't sell to a lot of these guys, so I know they make bullshit. you incompetent. What are we talking about? At Grizzly Gap, incompetent? Is that what you're saying? The Grizzly Gap, you know what I'm saying? That, that's legal. One thing that you say, what about no, the drug thing? That's what yeah, yeah, marijuana is recreational sure. use. Grizzly Gas is a legal place of business. They get taxed. So we can have Grizzly Gas and other mids with a uh, firearm license, is what you're saying. I'm bad at going ahead for a second there. Um, Dream, get your kids. So at the firing range, you're going to have a target to, to aim at, right? Yes. A couple of them. So on your target, you're going to have three areas you can shoot at. You can shoot at the head, below the waist, or the chest. When you're disabling an attacker, where is the most beneficial place that you can shoot that attacker at to disable them? Foot, boss. To disable them? Yes. Not put him down. Chest. 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 Neutral spots, boss. Whenever, leg or whenever you're threatened and you want to disable an attacker, you always want to aim. Center mass. Let, let him know nobody oh, else. You're trying to kill the guy. Center no, mass. You want to kill him, you shoot him in the head. You can get shot in the chest. You can get shot in the stomach. You can get shot in the rib. You can get shot all those places to be disabled. A lot of people can't aim center mass, so it's going to be close to the That's why you go to the gun range and you practice. We have those at ammunition. have seven lanes that you can come to. You can practice with your weapons, you know, purchase extra ammunition to get those practice shots in. You need those practice shots. You always want to practice with your firearm in order to be familiar with it. Yeah, you never want to know how to not know how to use your firearm. Exactly. I've been licensed. Move, at least. I've been licensed for 12 years. And I still go every week. You're a marksman. Marksman is crazy. He should be a fucking expert. Let's just say, I have another scenario for you. Just say you're having a party, right? Okay. Having a massive celebration. Maybe someone just got married. Mm. He's got married. Having a massive party in someone's backyard. About 50, 60 people. So they got married. Just say you feel the urge to shoot your weapon. Let off a couple shots in the air. What do you think will happen if you do that? PD will show up I'm and sure you're, PD gonna respond. But... You will, yeah. PD will respond. But do, do you guys think that's okay? To just let off a couple rounds? You know it's a party, everybody's no. having fun. No, you wanna just let off a couple like shots? No. Is it on July the fourth, boss? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's the 4th of July. Not okay. yeah, uh, then it's acceptable, okay. boss. It's a it's a celebration. The bullets can come down. Still not okay. Exactly. That's what I was looking for. I'm shooting over the Bullets shooting. don't have names. You aim a shot in the you aim a gun in the air, you shoot a shot to come down and kill our little three brothers out there sitting down. Mm, mm, mm. Hey, hey, hey. I don't I don't I'm, I don't I'm think that's right. Though. It's the truth. I've yeah, seen to it make happen. the point. Mm-hmm. I've seen it 
See, I think I got about two more questions for you guys. Let me ask you this. You get a you go to the gun store, you get a registered weapon for yourself, correct? Yes. Mm-hmm. You you find out, hmm, I don't like this weapon anymore. I want to get I want to get an upgrade. You decide to sell it. Your buddy wants to buy it from you. He offers you a good price. I'm gonna just stop you right there. Do you sell it to him? Hell no. Hell no. Yeah. Why not? No. Hell yeah. You because take him to the ammunition yeah. store. You have to come to the ammunition store and get it re-registered to him? Exactly. Oh. Whoa. You bring your weapon Damn. to ammunition and we'll re-register it to the person you're selling it to. You never want to sell a weapon on the street because this will happen. That weapon can be <laughs> used in a murder. <laughs> And that weapon can be used you. in a murder and that will come back to you. Even though you don't have it, it's still registered to you. We look it up in the system and we see that it's under your name and it was used in a murder. What do you think is going to happen? Again. You're going to be facing 25 to life. Hey, don't touch me, bro. Don't touch me, bro. Mm. Mm-hmm. I got a question, sir. Yeah. Is it is the license a physical copy? Like, can we put it up type? You know? I, we'll I always, be we'll, like our ID, correct? We will always have access to the gun licenses to see whether or not you have it. You will always, always be in the email to see whether you have a license as well. It will not be a physical copy. It will always be in the system. So it's a digital copy. So as soon as Perfect. anybody... So if you ever gets... lose it, if you ever lose it, you'll be able to see if you lose it. You can easily go to a, any PD officer, ask them, you know, what's the status of my license? That's all you have to ask. They'll look it up for you. They'll let you know if it's revoked so, or not. So any felon you commit that don't even got to do with the gun is going to, can it, like, cause you to lose it? All felonies causes yes. you to lose your license, no matter mm-hmm. the felony. You just have to get it expunged. If, if you're convicted, correct? If I get a lawyer and I if, if you're convicted, yes. If you beat the case, mm-hmm. then you'll still have your license. But at the and moment, and until, my until your case returned to me, correct? That will I lose my firearm. But until no, your the whole won't. time your case is going on, you will not have a license. It'll so be, my thing is, it'll be suspended why would it be until up after to, the case. Why would it be up to PD if he beat the case? It'll be up to PD. That's all I can say. I can't. I can't disclose information as far as PD giving back guns or not because that's their jurisdiction. I have no say so in that. But they would be registered in our name if they PD kept them and any God forbid if, something if they lost them and say if someone got a hold of them they'd still be in our name, correct? No right but see, if PD takes your the weapon, they'll know I that they'll have, have that in, the, in the records. So if you do lose it, or if you have it in your vehicle or something and someone takes it, you okay. So so it. so if PD does so if we ever did get take our firearms taken from us by PD, they will take our It'll registration. Okay. They will always have, you know, records of all types of evidence that can okay. take off of anybody. I just want to make sure it won't come back on my name if they do take it. Yeah, they'll have evidence, you know, evidence, um, you know, photos to make sure they keep logs of everything that they take off of anybody. All right, sounds good. Yeah, um, if, but if you could, if you um commit misdemeanor, you'll be giving your firearm back. When you do get out, if you do get arrested for damn, well, y'all do you think y'all sound more energetic? Y'all sound like some bitch. Can you explain to them what a misdemeanor is? (laughs) (laughs) Can you show? (laughs) Misdemeanors are not telling you. Can you can you explain to them what a misdemeanor could be, sir? Like a traffic stop. Is a misdemeanor like a traffic? Uh, I'm asking. I just want PD to, to explain it so that way. Uh, yeah, so that way y'all be, y'all be clarified. A misdemeanor is anything that's not considered a a violent crime. So if you're offensive, yes. Mm-hmm. So if having, you're your, having your gun out just... is non-violent though. But so that's Brandon in the farm. But it's non-violent. That, that's considered and a felony in the state. This is I understand. I said, explain this, please, PD. Uh, it, could, it could turn violent, but that's yeah. non-violent though. Sir, it, we're on our penal code. Um, Brandishing firearm is a that's not well. That's not. You, I just you you said something. Are you I responded. Are you with us? Or are you? Oh no, I'm just telling you how our penal codes in the in the state of San Andreas work. I understand. You're not one of them standing on the stage, standing back. And quick question: Um, when driving with the firearm, where should the firearm be? Your firearm should the, be secured we... in the vehicle. So, yeah, in a glove box, uh, your armrest, anything it, like can that. It, can it be loaded or has to be unloaded? And is the is the in the state of San Andreas, it can be loaded. I okay. it gets hectic out there now. because uh, this is a non. Because you can't open carry in this state, you have no reason to put your weapon in the glove box and your clip in the in the trunk. You have no oh, reason yeah, to that's separate. That's what I was gonna ask. Okay, you'll have a CPL. Exactly you'll be able to carry concealed, so you can carry your weapon anywhere you want. 
Okay. If you're in your vehicle, so you, you don't have to put it in a certain position or a certain place. <laughs> okay, sounds good. <laughs> Speaking of weapons, I never had no gun less. There are attachments, suppressors, extended clips, things like that. Are those legal in this state? Um, no, I'm, I don't believe I would, so. I would what agree. If, I mean, I, I would mean, think if they're so purchased if at the ammunition store check. and registered, I would believe if they're available. I mean, don't you guys? I'll, do I'll like let a you know now. Check for that? Suppressors are federal. Yeah, I'll let you know now. Some. We don't sell those at ammunition. <laughs> oh, okay. We do not. We do not sell what those at ammunition. Clothes? Okay, because I know it's some. We don't sell those. Either. They allow that. No so. attachments on weapons. Period is legal. But if you, know, you get a wrap, you got a wrap on a gun though. Those things Rapid you put on the end that makes it an automatic yeah. pistol. Activity, what kind of weapons can you buy? Going to jail. What's the range? The little dot on the back. No, no, no. The things that make your pistol an automatic weapon. The little it's called a switch. Hard. Yeah, it's a little, it's that's a little, illegal. It's a little dot on the back. Whoa. Whoa. That is a major felony. Huh? Was that an earthquake? Whoa. That went my my goodness. Man, who you telling? I will hope it ain't mine. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my. Yeah, that's oh, probably oh, mine. I got a whole whoa. bunch of oh, I got a whole shit. bunch of weed in mine. That's probably mine for sure. Yeah, hey, Charleston. Man, yeah, everybody call out front JetBlue. Damn. What the that's fuck? Crazy. Motorcycle. Everybody call JetBlue. All right, so. Oh, I feel like we went over a lot of information in this class today. Does anybody have any additional questions? Starting to seem like more questions. What if it gets stolen or something? Like, anytime your weapon is stolen, you must report it stolen. Because like I said, That's if that weapon comes too. back to you, two PD correct or not? Like I said, if that, if that weapon comes back to you, we both after should someone know. steals it, you, and you don't report it stolen, and someone uses it in a crime, and they find it, What's you will be probably charged with that crime. That's where I was thinking. Understood. Understood. Uh, just another so as soon as we, as soon as it comes up missing, we have to report it immediately. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Immediately. Just another thing. I don't know if Jerry talked to y'all about Jerry. Have you uh, told him about if they was calling the shootout and they? Flee from that scene and don't report it to the LSPD. Hey, okay, see, so that's another major thing we need to talk about. Anytime you're in a shootout, anywhere in the state, you cannot flee the scene at all. You take cover, any type of cover you need to take, you call 911. If you flee from that scene and gun shell cases are found on that scene, you will be at risk of being charged with a felony. Because question. they don't know they don't know the story that's that. going on. They don't yeah, know what I'm happened. About to ask a question. question about that. Yeah, now, go ahead. What if it's what if you outnumber and you and if you sit there you like a sitting duck? No, then the obviously PD. you would run away. Yeah, I was just about to say, the PD. We just come straight to PD. Come straight to PD and report it. What if I'm bleeding though? What if I'm bleeding? Oh hell no! Though? I mean, of course you can seek medical attention, and then your medical anybody give you medical attention will be able to call police for you. Yeah, so you know, put it to LSPD, then that's what I'm So if, we, what if you, our life is in so danger, look, we don't have time. So to can I, yeah. By the time we get to the P, I mean the, uh, the appeal, they, your life you is should be calling nine one one anyway. So yeah, look, do we just if I'm shot, I mean, I'm gonna be driving yes. to P. I'm driving. You, I'm either, bleeding. you can do. You can think about slash nine one one. You can think about coming down here to PD. If you have to ah. go to PO box and seek medical attention, just tell your nurse that you want. You need to see an officer because a crime just happened. And you want to report it? Just make sure you report it any way possible. All right. So let's just say we do the nine one one slash nine one one. What does that need to look like when we just think about name? slash nine one one and type you in, is and you put in what uh what happened? And we what's do your, always have name, please. We do always have um emergencies uh you know EMS <clears throat> available. So you guys can always if you if you heard on scene anything like that, just wait till EMS arrives. Uh, Nine times out of ten, a police will arrive before so the going, EMS. So, so going based off what you said about the shell, so when we buy, I mean, ammo, that will be registered to us as well? No. It'll be, it, once you fire it out of ammo your weapon, over. it has certain trademarks on the bullet that police can see. <laughs> it indicates your, you know, your serial number. It'll, it'll let them know, you know, what but what gun it came out of, the serial number it came from. We're going to give them a break. So <laughs> they'll know. <laughs> Anyone can buy ammunition. We don't register ammunition. Man. But once he comes, once he gets fired out of the barrel of that gun, that barrel of that gun is very distinct, and it the has barrel special of the markings. Gun is like a fingerprint, basically. exactly. So look, is our name included in the nine one one reports when we? Yes, please. Yes, it is. Your phone. No, number it, I'm saying, there. is it by default, or do we need to put our name in there? It'll you be. Your number will be on there. No, yeah, you need to put your name you on there. Put your name on there. Yeah. I bet. 